Hi, it's Paolo here with a homework from uh, C Sharp 2012. How to program Chapter 5, Exercise 32. You're supposed to create a checkerboard pattern of asterisk. And this is how it's supposed to look like. So you got your first row of uh, asterisk, space, asterisk, space, asterisk, space. The second row. It's the same, except it starts with space, asterisk, space, asterisk. And again, you can start with star, space, and then space, star, and so forth. So it creates uh, like a checkerboard pattern. And all we can use is console write uh, the star and a space afterwards, because remember, there's a space afterwards. And console that write of a space. And of course, we need some console that uh, right line to move from one row to another. All right, so obviously we'll be using some loops. We'll be using actually a few loops. So let's get it going. <clears throat> first thing first, let's declare variables. Let's declare the star. The which is a string. It is, it is not a character because it's a star and a space. In other words, it's two characters, so it cannot be, it has to be a string, it cannot be a character. On the other hand, space itself equals just a, one character, the character of space. Now we need some uh, index for the looping. Oops, it's integer. Let's to uh, let's to make sure uh, that to decide whether we are doing an even or odd row because remember odd rows start with space I mean starts with uh, star and space while uh, the even rows like two four six and eight start with the space first. So that's the difference between them, otherwise it would be just a straightforward loop, but we need to shift the, the rows. So, and we need a counter for the loop. And we'll start with 1. We could start with 0, but 1 is better. No reason. Alright, so uh, now let's loop. So, how long are we going to loop? According to the assignment there's eight stars so we're gonna loop eight times so while index is greater or equal eight because we're including eight because like I said well including eight because it starts at one if it was zero base we would just do less than seven I mean less than eight but uh, I I started from one. Like I said, you could start from zero, like a regular zero based. That's fine. But it's easier to uh, control. In my opinion, it's easier to control the whether the row is even or odd uh, if you start with one, like row one. So if index, how do you find out if it's uh, even or row? Simple mod. So if it's not equal to zero, in other words, if it, this is an odd number, then we will display this pattern: star space star space. So while counter equals that I means less or equal to uh, eight. We will display the pattern. Console that write, and we will write the star. Now, we will write the star, but like, again, remember, star is a string. It already contains the space. So what we what we'll output is space. I mean, star and space. And we do write because after the loop, right next to it, we need to write another star and space. And after that, next to it, another star and space. If you use a uh, write line, 
it would go to another uh, another line. In other words, it would have a columns of uh, of star, uh, star and space instead of a row of star and space. And we need to uh, increase the uh, the counter, of course. So this is going to take care of our odd uh, rows. If it's not that, in other words, if it's even, then first thing we have to write uh, the space because it's. Uh, um, let me let me just write this. If this is an even number, like number two, row number two. It starts with space, so this is what we'll output now, just, just the space. And next to it now, we will output the rest of the, uh, the pattern, which is the same like this. So we will loop again for, uh, while counter is up to eight. We will. But right star and counter plus plus. Yeah. The only difference between uh, the uh, odd and even rows is that, like I said, it starts with uh, star or it starts with space. So this line takes care uh, of the space, and after that, it just outputs. The eight number eight, eight stars just like it would uh, for the odd uh, rows. Now after the loop of uh, okay we need to uh, the console that right line. This is going to after we uh, do the raw we have to go to a the next one, which is this. This will move our cursor, so to speak, to the next row, to the next line. Alright, uh, so let's try it. Let's see what we get. And, uh, we are not getting anything. Uh, let me quickly see. So I'll get my while loop here. This is within it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I did not increase the index for the next loop. In other words, index stayed the same the whole time. It was always one. It was like infinite loop. So index plus plus should take care of that. Now, now I don't see anything, so I need obviously my console that read line just to pause the screen. And we only got one row. Well, two, three, four, at least we got one row. <laughs> uh, let me see. So it was the first row only. You know what? Let me let me debug it quickly. So, all right, this should be true because this is the first row, and it writes the first row, just like we saw displayed. It goes eight times. And, and then it jumps and console that right uh, right line and it displays the raw. All right, so uh, the second one this should be skipped. It should come to else, which it does, and it should write, but it doesn't. Um, counter equals nine. Counter should not equal nine. Counter should equal. Oh, I see. Here's the problem. 
after this loop, counter was increased by 1 each time, so after this was over, counter equal 8. So when we come over here, actually counter equals 9 because we started at, at 1. So when we come over here, counter equals 9, which is not less or equal to 8, so it is all skipped. In other words, what I need is to bring counter back to 1. After each iteration, after each row, I have to reset the counter. And I almost got it. <laughs> uh, right. So counter equals 1. Let me see. This seems okay because it did the first first row, the first line, uh, just fine. This should do the space. This is what can write the star. All right, well, let's debug again. It's all part of the experience, I guess. So we'll get the first line, just like we would. I'll just skip that. So we got the first line. Now the second line, the if statement should go to else. It should write a space, which it did. And counter is now one, so this should do the loop. And it writes the star after the space. Right, and uh, resets the uh, after it exits the loop, it resets the counter, it adjusts the index for the next iteration. So, what did we get? We got the same thing. In other words, it did not. Oh, <laughs> see, I was telling you about why I used right. Instead of right line, I told you that if it was right line, it would go to another another uh, space, another line. In other words, at the end of the line, it would go to the next one. But if you use only a right, it actually writes all the way across the line. And this is the problem. Instead of writing space and then next to it, writing my pattern, I skip to the ne to next line. So let's try again. Oh, I don't want to debug now. Let's just first see what it does, and it works. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows or eight lines. So this is the pattern. As you can see. All right. So let's recap. We got our star. We got our space. But our star isn't really a, a just a star, it's the star and a space. You could you could just alternate them, you could just do star and space, but I think it just makes more sense since the pattern is star space. Why to just do you know star and then output space when you can do it all at once? The space over here, the only time it is used is for the uh, odd, I mean for the even lines, it's the first space of the pattern, index. Uh, it has used uh, to identify the, uh, it goes through the loop and uh, we will we will use it to identify whether the raw or the line is uh, even or odd by using the mod function or the mod uh, calculation if the reminder is uh, not zero we know that it's an odd number so it's an odd uh, row and we will display this pattern straight off the bat and uh, if it is an even number then first we write a space and right next to it we will output the same pattern at the end doesn't matter whether it's odd or even we need to reset our counter uh, our counter uh, that we use uh, 
uh, to loop through the uh, through the pattern, and we will have to increase our index, which is our outer loop, our while statement uh, that actually makes the uh, eight uh, rows. And we need to do the console write line because after each line of uh, after each line, we need to go to the next one, and that's what the the empty uh, console write line does. So that's all. Hope it helped you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.